Hey guys, so it's on Kitchen. I'm Julia. It is Sweet Treat Sunday and today I have a delicious ice cream cake for you. It is going to be a no churn ice cream cake with some lady fingers in, lots of babies and lots of chocolate. So let's get started. First I will just mix some heavy cream and some Baileys together. And I just place some lady fingers in a spring foam pan and just kind of brush my mix all over them just about three to four times on each so I really got some of all that liquid in them. Then it was time to make the ice cream mix. I just whisked my heavy cream until it was nice and stiff. Then I just added in some sweetened condensed milk and some Baileys and lots of good quality milk chocolate that I had melted. Just whisked it all together until it's all well combined. I don't know if you can see it, but I also have some kind of cake clasp on the edges so the ice cream cake is a lot easier to get out of the spring form when it is done. I just poured half of my ice cream mix all over my lady fingers and spread it out and placed some more lady fingers on top and then brushed them with some more of my things and heavy cream mix. I didn't use all of my mix, but you can just give them more and more layers if you want to. To use more of your base and heavy cream mix. Then it's just all about pouring the rest of the ice cream on top and yes the lady fingers will kind of rise to the top and lay there but don't worry we'll cover that up with another ice cream later on. Right now it's just all about putting this in the freezer for about 4 hours before the next step. I'm going to whisk up some more heavy cream but this time it's just a small portion. And after that, I'm going to whisk it with some Dolce de Leche. Just place that on top of my ice cream cake and just really spread it out nicely. And then it's ready to be placed in the freezer for at least 6 to 8 hours more. And after that, it is ready to be served. And I'm going to serve mine with some crushed lady fingers and some fresh raspberries on the top.
I'm going to serve mine up tomorrow so you won't see me tasting it, but I've made it so many times before and it is absolutely delicious, I can promise you that. But if you watch it to the end, I'll of course show you guys when I cut it out. It is so good. If you want to give it a go, all the ingredients are down below in the description box as always. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check in again tomorrow for my Easy Meal Monday. Bye!